Our story begins with a young woman from Philadelphia who conquered hearts as a Hollywood princess before being whisked away by a real-life Prince Charming to become Her Serene Highness, the Princess of Monaco. Born in 1929, Grace Patricia Kelly's cherished dream was to become a stage actress. She funded her own way through drama school by modelling evening wear for New York fashion houses. After gaining her first professional acting experience in live television, she landed her first starring role in 1952's High Noon. She went on to win a Golden Globe for Magambo the following year. Then she won a leading actress Oscar for the black and white film Country Girl. And by the age of 26, she'd starred in the classic musical High Society and three films directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Having made only 11 films and with her whole career ahead of her, Grace stunned the world by announcing she was ready to give it all up to marry the crown prince of a tiny European principality called Monaco. Surrounded by France, the world's second smallest independent nation was practically unknown to anyone except the wealthy jet set who basked in the luxury of Monaco's beaches, casinos and lax income tax laws. But in 1955, Crown Prince Rainier's engagement to Grace Kelly immediately put Monaco on the map. And if she had been popular with the press before, the young film star now had to deal with the unprecedented frenzy sparked by the media's obsession with documenting her transition from Hollywood siren to Her Serene Highness. Even aboard the cruise ship that was crawling with film crews and photographers, she managed to keep smiling, no doubt finding solace in the company of her pet Hungarian Vizsla, before having to face the crowds of adoring monogesques who were soon to become her loyal subjects. Prince Rainier was there to greet her as she landed and guide her through all the pomp and ceremony that her new role as Her Serene Highness would demand. Billed as the wedding of the century, the ceremony took place on April 19, 1956. The day before, the royal couple had exchanged vows in a private civil ceremony. But on the big day, it was clear that the years of dramatic training and professional acting had prepared her to play a starring role as the Princess Bride. In front of a television viewing audience of 30 million people around the globe, her stunning dress of silk, taffeta, tulle and lace shone like silver. It was designed by Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer's Oscar-winning costume designer Helen Rose and took 36 seamstresses six weeks to complete. The lavish ceremony at St Nicholas Cathedral was attended by the likes of Ava Gardner, David Niven, Gloria Swanson, Kerry Grant and the Aga Khan. The story goes that Britain's Queen Elizabeth turned down an invitation to the wedding on the grounds that there would be too many film stars there. Exquisitely poised and quietly composed, the celebrated beauty carried her part off to perfection, leaving Hollywood to mourn the premature retirement of one of its brightest stars. Her Serene Highness approached her new role with the same dedication she'd ploughed into her Oscar-winning film career. After a seven-week honeymoon cruise aboard the Prince's yacht, she got straight down to the task of producing an heir to the throne. Nine months later, she gave birth to Princess Caroline, whose arrival was celebrated with a 21-gun salute. A year later, 101 guns welcomed Prince Albert into the world. And seven years after that, Grace gave birth to their third child, Princess Stephanie. While Grace may have missed her Hollywood friends and stellar career, she contented herself with her civic duties as the Crown Prince's consort, and pictures of their growing family became staple fodder for news bulletins and glossy magazines around the world. In 1982, just one year after the royal couple's 25th wedding anniversary, Princess Grace was driving her daughter Stephanie home from their country retreat when her car plunged over the mountainside on a windy strip of road. They were both taken to the Princess Grace Hospital, and while Stephanie was destined to recover from her injuries, her mother died the following day at the age of 52. 
the dramatic end to her life added a fitting twist to the fairy tale. Devastated by her death, Prince Rainier never married again and was buried alongside her in the Grimaldi family vault following his death in 2005.